Hello, welcome. In this video, we will have a look at basics of maps and how to use Google Maps API to create our own maps. To work with Maps API, you need to have a basic knowledge of HTML and JavaScript. Before we get into writing some code, let's understand the fundamentals of map. In a map, every location is identified by a coordinate called latitude and longitude. The point zero zero somewhere the west of Africa is known as center of the world. From this point, the latitude value is represented as a vertical number. The vertical line represents latitude and the horizontal line represents longitude. That means from zero, if we go towards the right, towards the east, the longitude will be going up from zero, it will be a positive number. Similarly, if we go towards the left, the longitude value will be a negative number. And latitude from the point zero zero, if we go upwards towards north, it will be a positive number. And if you go down south, it will be a negative number. Say if you take the Golden Gate Bridge somewhere here, it will have a latitude value of positive number as you can see here and longitude of a negative number. Same way the Taj Mahal will have both positive numbers for latitude and longitude. That's the fundamental of map. Let's get into some coding. We need a text editor to create HTML and JavaScript. We will create a HTML page with the skeleton HTML first. I will save it as first map.html. We will create add section and the body section. In the body, I will just create some heading, and we need to create a div tag where the map should be displayed. We will provide some ID for this, and we need to provide item width for this div that we can do it using CSS. Say for my map, I will provide the width of 100% and I say 700 pixels if we do not provide the item width this div will have item width of 0 pixel and the map will not be visible the next step is to import the maps api using the script tag script source equals to http maps.google.com slash maps api slash js and we need to pass a parameter called sensor equals to false we will get into this parameter later next step is to create javascript to invoke api to create the map uh, we'll create a function and first step get hold of this div say map div equals to document dot get element by id and the id that's my map next we need to create the map object using the google map api google dot maps dot map for this object we need to provide two parameters the first one is a div object which we have here the second is set of options we need to provide we will define it as a map options and we define this variable here and we will define these options inside a JSON object. So what are the options we need to provide? The first is the center. This represents when the page loads where should be the center of the map to be displayed. You can provide a coordinate for this. To do that we need to create a object of lat long lat long means latitude longitude we need to provide coordinate the first is the latitude to 0 6, 6, 7. the second is the longitude this coordinate represents the golden gate bridge in san francisco the second option is the zoom level when we load the page 
what should be the zoom level of the map. Google provides zoom level from 1 to 23. Let's start somewhere between 15. Maybe. The third option is the map type. There are two types of map. The road map and the satellite map. We will, we will use uh, the constant the road map. So we have created the map object. The next last step is to call this function when the page loads. For that we can say window.onload equals to init. Let's save this page and I will open this in a browser. Here is your first map. As you can see when the page loads, the Golden Gate Bridge is centered in the map and the zoom level is set to view this golden bridge bridge we can see the basic controls provided by map we can zoom out and we can pan around the map we can use mouse to drag on around to move around and we have controls to switch to map or satellite let's say by default we need to view it in a satellite type for that we just change the map type to satellite and save it go to browser and refresh as you can see the map is now displaying in a satellite mode to summarize to create a map you need to first define a div with some id provide item width for the div next create options for the map that is center zoom and the map type then pass the div object and the options to the object called google.maps.map this will create the map object and displace it inside this div thank you for watching for more videos please visit jtechniques.com